Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. It's Tuesday the 22nd of November and thank you as always for joining me today on my weighing results. Before I get started, I just want to apologise for any blemish you can see on my face. I have put a bit of moisturiser on just to make myself look presentable for you lovely lot. So, I mean, we all know how it is, don't we? A little bit under the weather and, um, yeah, we just want to look our best, don't we, really? So, but what you see is what you get and we're all friends here, aren't we? So, yeah. So, how has my week been? Well, are you ready for story time? Good. Are you sitting comfortably? Good. Have you got a hot beverage, cold beverage? Good. Okay. Snacks probably as well, which is a good idea. Jobs are good. Un. So, last Tuesday, the 15th of November, um, I said that I was um, feeling like I've got a, a head cold coming. Now, Wednesday, I got up, had my breakfast. It was overnight fruity couscous, but it tasted a little bit weird. So um, I messaged my friend Leanne, hi Leanne, and said to her, I said, it didn't taste right. And she says, right, take a COVID test. I said, right, okay, I will do when I get back. So I was out at the time, went over to the chemist to get Ian's prescription, but they didn't have his protein shakes in. So I said to the chemist, I'll come back later with the car because you get it, get it all in bulk and everything. And they said, that's fine. So I picked up his rescue meds and his aspirin. I walked over to Asda, got a few little bits, because I wanted to do like um, a batch cook for Ian. For like a I did a casserole, did a bacon and chicken casserole for him. Anyway, so I got back and I was burning up. I had my big, bigger coat on. I don't usually wear my big coat on, because I, I get really warm anyway, going through the menopause and all that jazz. <laughs> You know how it is, ladies. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, so I got back, took my coat off, my t-shirt was soaked with all the sweating, and um, I took a COVID test and it came back positive. To be honest with you, I did cry, I got upset because we have been so goddamn careful since the pandemic and since all the rules have like gone now with the mask wearing, we haven't stopped wearing our masks when we go out. And I always carry a bottle of sanitizer with me and some sanitizing wipes. So it's really frustrating that it came up positive. Anyway, Ian said, don't panic, cool down a bit and take another one. So I did, positive, and I cried again. So I really, really frustrated because if Ian got it, it would be worse for him. Anyway, Ian took a test um, and it was negative. So Wednesday night, early hours Thursday morning went to bed I, I was on the sofa Ian went to bed and um, Ian got up excuse me <clears throat> and he couldn't settle so I said do you want to take another Covid test so I took one and it came back positive so I was like right okay so we went to bed about five o'clock Thursday morning because neither of us could sleep you know a bit worrying and everything like that which is understandable um, I got up at nine because I was waiting for Ian's protein shakes to be delivered by the chemist because I did phone them on the Wednesday saying I can't come out now because I've got COVID so they said that's fine we'll deliver it to your door. Anyway got up at nine waited for that. Um, Andrew and Bryony, Andrew's our son and Bryony's his partner, they did a little bit of shopping for us and then Ian got up gone 12 Thursday afternoon he took another test and again it was positive. So we have been in isolation since last Wednesday Ian don't get out much anyway, well he don't get out, he does get out much but he chooses not to go out much because of the weather and everything, a slight cold on his chest and that's it, he's down with weeks with it. Anyway, so we are going to be in isolation now until for 10 days, so mine runs out Saturday coming, Ian's runs out on the Sunday but we're going to give ourselves a little extra few days just in case, you know. So we're going to do another test tomorrow, which is Wednesday, the 23rd of November. And then we're going to do another one at the weekend. So fingers crossed, both negative. So yeah, so um, we've had Andrew, uh, yeah, Andrew and Bryony do our shopping. Uh, we've had our daughter Rachel and her fiancé Leighton do our shopping. Um, my dear friend Polly's been doing a bit of shopping for us. And Leanne, bless her, <laughs> hi Leanne, she even said, if I lived close, I would have done some meals for you and got you this and got you that. And we do appreciate it, really, really do. So thank you, Leanne. Thank you. Um, also, I just want to say thank you to all of you for your get well wishes to us both. It really means a lot. It really, really does. You are just all brilliant. You really are. You just 
good friends you really are so thank you so much so with my food um i've not eaten much i've not feeling up to eating i've not gone off food optimizing i've tried to have little bits here and there i've had my healthy a and my healthy b's um because you'll have two healthy b's when you reach, reach your target and you'll have obviously two healthy a's um stayed within my sins but i've been drinking more fluids than eating because leanne said just make sure you drink plenty of fluids and some take paracetamol i don't like taking tablets if i don't need to but i have been taking paracetamol so yeah i'm a bit out of breath at the moment so just gotta bear with me we've got just more um meaning we've just got more like flu symptoms now so it is easing off a little bit which is good so one moment please Thank you. <clears throat> so yeah, so it's just more flu symptoms now. I mean, my head's still a bit fuzzy, but um, but yeah, you know, I feel okay. You know, I have these little bursts of energy to do things, and then I feel a bit Ugh. so. But I've got to keep on top of my housework because I don't like dust, and yeah, I like everything in order. So, but yeah, that's just me. So yeah, so food optimising is it's yeah, it's a bit of a you know up and down kind of thing but I've not gone off food optimizing completely I've not gone I've not eaten what I shouldn't be eating you know so I know some people you know if they're not well enough they'll just eat loads of you know off plan food and stuff like that which is up to them but me I tend to drink more fluids than I eat so yeah so um I've not tried anything new obviously I've not been well enough to try anything new not fancied it really um with my steps well <laughs> I've not been going out. I've not been going out. I've not been going out. I mean, the weather's been horrendous. It didn't stop raining all day yesterday. Um, the most days, well, the most steps I've done in one day throughout the week was Wednesday the 16th of November. And I've written it down so it saves me going through my phone. I've done 10,604 steps. The rest of the time, it's been between 1,000 and 2,000. So, yeah, so, so it can't be helped, though. It can't be helped um but yeah um yeah so nothing you know nothing new really i have got some new socks to show you lovely lot but i'll show them in a minute to you so yeah so and i'll explain why i've got them as well anyway <laughs> don't need an explanation explanation do i for novelty socks no you don't stephanie no of course not so yeah so what i'll do i'll go through my diary it's not me squeaking it's the chair <laughs> and then i'll let you know how i got on so Okay, new diary. I forgot to show you last week. I started it two weeks ago and it says work hard, dream big. So lovely, eh? Lovely, lovely. So what I'll do, I'll go back to last Tuesday, the 15th of November, and I ended on 11 sins. Wednesday, the 16th of November, I ended on one sin. Thursday, the 17th of November, sin free Thursday. Friday the 18th of November, 11 and a half sins. Saturday the 19th of November, 9 and a half sins. Sunday the 20th of November, sin free Sunday. And then yesterday, Monday the 21st of November, sin free Monday. And so far today, um, all I've had is rice pudding and some mixed berries and um, three chopped plums. So I know what I'm having for my tea. <clears throat> I'm having a pit of pocket with plant menu, onion, rosemary sausages, a fried egg and some chips on the side. Whether or not I decide to have the chips, I don't know, I see how I feel. So I know I need to keep my energy up, you know, this is what Leanne said to me, you know, you gotta keep your energy up. So yeah, so I'm doing my best, babe, I am doing my best. So, Weighing results. Last Tuesday, the 15th of November, I stepped on the scales and I came in with a maintain. Yes, I was on the maintain train and it left me on nine stone six pound. I stepped on the scales today and I had a loss of two pound so this is week 252 
I now weigh nine stone four pound and all together I've lost seven stone five pound. I'm putting it down to COVID <laughs> so um, yeah um, it is what it is isn't it you know so it is what it is um, like I said I am feeling a little bit better Ian is as well um, we just uh, we just want to get rid of this before Christmas it's not going to be nice if we have this over Christmas so yeah so uh, we just want to feel a hundred percent so well Ian will never be a hundred percent but if he gets rid of this then that's a bonus so yeah so and I'll continue to wear my you know mask wearing and my sanitizer in my bag and my my wipes in my bag which I haven't stopped at all so which is so annoying though it really is so but um it's one of them things isn't it yeah so anyhow novelty socks well Rachel and Leighton went Tesco's yesterday to get a few little bits and I said to them when you get there WhatsApp video me and they said okay then so the WhatsApp videoed me I said right I said go down to where the pajamas are the women's pajamas and there's a little side aisle where they do Christmas socks you know we're going here don't you of course you do <laughs> so anyway so they went down to that aisle and they were showing me and all that and I said oh yeah I love them 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 so I thought I'd show you lovely lot now the pair um, there's one single pair and the rest are pairs and I'll give you the prices now first one I'm going to show you okay um, like as always at the end of this video I put a photo of me stand on my scales with my novelty socks on so <laughs> okay are you ready <laughs> okay now these are the ones I'm wearing on the scales if you can see that yep yeah, it's fine it's perfect <laughs> okay Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse Yee, they're cute they're so cute lovely with a nice little black and white at the top so that's them and then these ones come with it look at them how pretty are they <gasps> snowflakes and the little Mickey Mouse little symbol there so and they're lovely and they now this pair was £4.50 so that's not too bad is it really so yeah I've got some of them these ones okay they're so cute look at that nice little glitter at the top but look, oh snap, look at the little gingerbread people, <laughs> how cute are these, these were £2.50, oh my god they're so cute aren't they, they really are, they're so cute, oh dear if I keep it still, that's better, <laughs> so cute isn't it, I oh, know it's the little things, I know, <laughs> the next pair I got was these little Brussels sprouts, okay it says every day I'm Brusseling, but look, the little Brussels sprout is dancing with the little music tunes and the little stars. How cute is he? And then you've got his little friend at the back, he's the same. Nice, um, it's like a, a lavender, like a lilac lavender. I love lavender and lilac, lovely. I love purple, it's my favourite colour. And then these ones come with it as well. Little Brussels sprouts with the little party hats and the little antlers. <laughs> It's so cute. It's a nice grey as well. These were um, four pound, so they were nice. And then the next pair, the last pair, sorry, was four pound as well. And it's the little um, avocados, and it says, "Let's get smashed." <laughs> and the little champagne glasses, and look, it's got a little love heart oh, with a nice little gl gold glitter at the top. So how cute are they? <laughs> Yeah, so these were four pound as well. If I said that already, I do apologise. But look, loads of them there with little love hearts and little circles. Now I don't mind avocado on my socks, but I don't like eating it. it just tastes rank to me. So yeah, so but they're cute, aren't they? They really are. So yeah, so but you're thinking, Steph, you don't need no more socks. We know how many socks. Yes, but I had to throw a few pairs away the other week. Yeah, the other week because they were like getting bold at the. Um, at this, um, what's that bit called? This bit here is getting a bit bold, so I thought, no, I need some new ones. So yes, yeah, so I did. So yay! <laughs> Good old Rachel and Leighton. <laughs> nice one. Now don't panic, okay? Any shopping that they did get for us, and Andrew and Bryony and Polly, we did transfer the money over to their accounts. So yes, yeah, so uh, we weren't expecting them to pay for our shopping. We gave them the money at the, the back, uh, back to them. 
so yeah so um yeah so two pound loss this week nice novelty socks that's cheered me up so yay um plans for this week nothing planned um still in isolation till the weekend and uh, obviously we're going to give ourselves a few little days extra on top of that as well just in case so yeah so fingers crossed tomorrow um our covid test comes back negative and then we'll do another one at the weekend so please fingers crossed you know crossed fingers crossed for us all you know for us both please so i don't want to be ill over christmas definitely not that is a big no no so yeah so not long now eh next week will be last way in of november and then december already where has the time gone i tell you it's flown by this year it really really has i feel a bit sick now Ooh. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> let me know how you've gotten yourselves this week. Whatever journey you are following, whatever works best for you. If it's working, that's brilliant. Just do your best. If you haven't got the results you wanted this week, don't worry about it. Don't beat yourself up on it, okay? All you can do is do your best. There's always next week. So just, just keep doing what you're doing. Just take each day as it comes. It's less pressure. Believe me, it does work. So yeah. Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. It's free to do so. Hit that notification bell for more upcoming videos. And as always, keep smiling, stay positive and take care. And I will see you soon. Bye bye now.